In this video, we're gonna look at the five leadership traits of great leaders. Let's go. I'm James Sinclair, I'm a UK entrepreneur. We employ over 450 people. We run 11 different locations all around the United Kingdom. And this video is gonna show how we lead those people. If you're new here and you've just found our YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe so you can watch more of our videos on entrepreneurial stuff. So gang, here we go. What we're looking at here is the salient points that I've come up with that really get great leadership into a business. Now, look, look, I've got rid of all of the obvious stuff. You know, the things like, uh, oh, lead by example and all that. I'm, I'm taking that you guys watching this know all that stuff. So let's really go deeper than the obvious low hanging fruits. Let's look at the really good stuff. Now I've discovered for great leadership, it's this word here, culture, that embeds great leadership. It's a good way of seeing if a business has got great leadership, if an organization has got great leadership, anything where there's a collective group of people together. If there's great culture, you know there's great leadership. So that's the key skill in looking to see if a business has got great leadership. Check it's got great culture. Once you've got great culture, we need to build on that culture. And understand this, there is always a culture in an organization, a group of people. It's just whether it's the culture that you want. So let's flip over to the flip chart now and look at the salient points that I've put together. Number one, people really start embedding a great culture and believe in leadership if they know where they'll go. So if they know that there's development for them, understand that people start to go stale in any position, in any organization, in anything they do, whether it's education or anything, if they're not constantly developed. It's around about two years that people start, you know, coasting along. And when they're coasting along, the culture starts wearing down. They don't believe in the leadership. This is everything in life. So you've got to make sure they're constantly developing. That's why people people should always be continually learning, both in work, in organizations, and at home. So make sure that you've got a career progression plan for the person. If they believe in that, they're gonna believe in the leadership. And crucially, make sure that it's obvious that you're continually developing yourself as the key leader of the business. Make sure that you communicate, because people wanna be around people that are continually developing. The next one is give credit but take blame. Now this is really hard for people to do, but leaders need to give credit and take the blame for all the problems that have gone wrong. Ah, it gets wearing you down at times when you know it's other people that might have done the problems, but actually it's you, the leader, that should have solved those problems, given more development, more training, should have changed the wrong people, changed the systems, whatever it is. It's you're the leader, so you've got to take the blame, and that really gives great culture. So let's just go over that again, give credit but take blame. Next thing, train to gain. So you need to be training your people to be gaining out of people. If you're not training, you're not gaining. You need to train yourself and your people. And people really love that. It creates great culture, they believe in their leaders. So make sure, if you can, you're the person training your people and you'll start gaining out of your people. Now, leaders know the difference between L and M. What's L and M? That's leadership and management. See, this is one thing that I have absolutely learn. Some businesses are overled without any management. There is a key difference. You need both skill sets. The way I describe this so people really understand it, because that big thing that's been going on in the last 10, 20 years is you don't want managers, you want leaders. No, 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 no. You need both. When you look at a school, the head teacher is the leadership role, the teachers are the management role. And there's two different things. So a great head teacher attracts the best teachers to come and work in their school or her school. And you need to make sure that happens in your organization. Make sure you're the great visionary leader that's pulling people towards you. That is how you get a great culture. That is how you're a great leader. So make sure you respect the management. So if you're a head teacher, you need to respect your management, allow your management to do the job. So here's the two different roles in a quick nutshell. Leaders are looking quarter to quarter, year to year, decade to decade, generation to generation. They're thinking about what happens to the organization even when they're not there, when they're gone. On. The management task is second to second, minute to minute, hour to hour, day to day, week to week, maybe month to month. And when you've got them two different sets of DNA working together, great things happen. Let's move on. Vision shared ATT. 
organizations, these are not just business organizations, but any organization that continually shares the vision of where they want to go as an organization. So the armies do this really well, great schools and universities do this really well, religions do this really well, and great organizations in terms of business do this really well. They don't just share it on day one that someone comes and works for them, they share it all the time. And great organizations put systems in place for this to happen. Schools put assemblies in. We'll meet every morning so we have an assembly, so we're continually just giving the culture of the business out so everyone understands. Armies do the same, religions do the same. And that, guys, really wraps up the big salient points to get the great culture that will lead to great leadership in your business. Make sure you're someone that someone wants to follow. Make sure you share the vision of where you want your organization to go. You'll start getting followers, and then you start really winning. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to discuss it, you want to give us some comments or you want some clarity, hit the comments below, tell us what you think, and I'll do my very best to answer. If you've loved this video and you would like to see me live for free, come to one of my seminars. In the description on the video, you'll find all the details, and hopefully I'll see you there. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. We've got a ton more. But first of all, you need to subscribe by clicking here so you get notified when we bring out more videos, and you can watch the rest of our videos by clicking here.